Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emma. For today's video, I want to talk about how to turn our doubt into confidence. Because doubting is also part of our life. Because we are human, we cannot 100% certain about ourselves. I just don't like the feeling of doubting to be honest. But as a human being, we are gonna feel doubt in our entire life. I hope we cannot feel that, but I don't know, it might be my own personal limit. But that sounds like I'm not human. <laughs> but we can turn around our doubts and I think that's our power. Not a lot, but sometimes doubts pop up. I just doubt about myself, my existence, my preference my goals, whatever. It might be the reason that because we are so different. So whenever I look at other people's life, whenever their life and values are so different compared to me, I start doubting myself. I don't know. Anyway, so the only way we can deal with our doubt is just understand and aware that and channel our doubt into more positive things. Does it make sense? I've been trying many things to deal with doubt because I want to be a friend of my doubt and I want to use the energy into more positive things. So I want to share my top tips to turn our doubt into confidence. Anyway, let's get jump into it. Yeah, and before starting top tips, believing ourselves, confidence is a muscle. So we keep that every single day to build up. I feel like you can apply these tips really easily. So I'm excited to share them. And they've been working pretty well for me. So maybe you can pick some ideas to boost up your confidence. So the first tip I want to share is positive self-talk. Literally changes my life. Really, whenever I start doubting myself, I told myself, oh, is it okay to doubt yourself? But don't immerse yourself in that feeling too much. That's gonna ruin your mental health. Whenever I wake up, I always told myself, oh, I believe myself, I can get things done. I just talk kindly to myself because sometimes we are a bitch. Literally, we are a bitch to ourselves. So I try to use positive words and uplifting words to myself. It works pretty well. I hope you will talk kindly to yourself more often. How do self-talk is really important and easy to do because you will always talk to yourself. I have a really good metaphor I came up with. Our thoughts are fishes and you are a fisher. And our brain is river. So you are a fisher who can catch right fishes for yourself. Does it make sense? I feel like we cannot control the whole doubt, including doubt. They just pop up and that's our brain's job. So it's our job to use right thoughts to live a life. So I hope this metaphor is helpful for you. The second thing is positive affirmation. It also literally changed my life a lot. So whenever doubt comes up, I listen to confidence affirmation on YouTube. You can type that on YouTube. There are so many content out there. You can pick one of them and whenever you have some free time, you can listen to them. So you can feel more confidence by listening external words. Internal words, self-talk is also really important, but you can also use external material to feel more confident and just get back to your power. I like to listen affirmations while doing some chores, having some food. Yeah, you can use your kind of micro time to listen to confidence affirmations. And the third tip I want to share is looking back the past when you overcame something. For example, oh you nailed something or you kicked at school many things you overcome in your entire life think about it how proud of you were you overcame that shit i also have those kind of experiences a lot especially going to canada and getting a job was a really big challenge for me but i nailed it although i failed to settle down there i was really proud of the fact that i overcame uncertainty yeah think about the past you've already done really great job and the fourth tip i want to share is act yeah, speak like a confidence person. When you start changing yourself like this way, you feel like you are fake, but actually it's not. We just trained by others as a not confident person, so you feel a little awkward. You are not used to being and living as a confident person yet. So by acting more like a confident person, it gets more natural. So you are not going to think about that later and you just become a confident person. So words and action, both of them are related. If you also act like a confident person, you can get the synergy effect. Don't feel like you are faking. You are not just familiar with the way how you live. Don't feel weird. 
the, and the fifth tip I want to share is don't judge your doubt oh you are trying to build a confidence level and you've done so many stuff you see progress but it doesn't matter how you try hard to improve doubt comes because that's our human nature and doubts are not really bad sometimes if you change your mindset because doubts make us have a room to know some new things or to learn something if i just 100 percent sure always we don't listen to others we don't try to learn so i think doubts are also beautiful things we cannot get rid of doubt 100 in my opinion i don't know just comment down below if you are a person who eliminates doubt in your entire life and the sixth tip is give some compliments to yourself whenever you do a great job it doesn't matter how small that is how big that is just give some credit to yourself if you're so negative and we don't appreciate our effort whenever i make youtube videos i'm really self-critical my brain told me like oh you are not enough to make videos you are not pretty enough you are not competent enough whatever i doubt myself and that drives me crazy although you don't well give some compliments for your effort and bravery for the shake of action to try new things those kind of small it looks small but actually that needs a lot of mental struggle when you try things you don't really know well but give some credit when you try new things or when you try to do things and the seventh tip is i think is a really important tips keep promises with yourself if you break your promise a lot you're not gonna believe yourself and that's gonna make you doubt yourself you're gonna do that or not so whenever i decide to do something when i put something into my calendar i just go and do there's no other negotiation just crystal clear so i can believe myself although how hard thing happens in my life i can go and do and act for solving the problem and i can get my shit done literally i can handle every shit in life so i can build up my confidence level and that relieve my doubt the eighth tip is know what you want and yeah, know where you're going is hard thing i know what i want kind of but not really in detail and you don't have to know what you want in detail but we cannot 100 percent sure how it looks like when you got that just know where you're going and what you are trying to achieve who you are trying to be those kind of kind of big picture values could be changing because we are growing and changing every single day but just having some structure who you want to be and what kind of things you are trying to achieve in your life that's really helpful for you to believe yourself in the first place we doubt ourselves like we don't know why we do this shit or we don't know why we leave or we don't know where we are going so we are kind of doubt ourselves and whenever we see a lot of ads and people who try to change us to fit in their purposes if you don't have kind of grounded values for yourself you're gonna doubt yourself pretty much and you're gonna change yourself for them not for yourself yeah so figure out what you want in life i know it's really hard do some inner work you could try many different things you are interested in but you are kind of afraid to try and then you are gonna find some valuable things you wanna kind of climb up if you want to pursue something you have to put your effort and time so choose the right thing i don't know what means right but for me the right means beneficial for myself and for others to kind of giving some positive vibe that's what i want to say and the ninth tip is having some rituals to boost your confidence ritual i want to say that as routine just have some routine to boost your confidence for example you can listen to confidence affirmations like i do or you can do journaling or you can do some makeup <laughs> yes or some people organize their stuff to get rid of their doubts some people do meditation it's up to you i also think push up or you know some posture standing straight up is really helpful for me to feel more confidence kind of wonder woman pose i heard that make yourself expand a lot because confident people expand themselves a lot the last tip i want to share is it's also related to routine lifestyle I would recommend to do some exercise feeling stronger about your body make you feel confident and whenever i don't look the best i don't really confident that much inner things and other things interconnected so we cannot neglect both i've been talking about inner stuff so it's time to focus on our external things too so i think getting sweaty 
is a good strategy. How much time you can spend on doing exercise it depends on you, but just recommend to move your body and be sweat. When you feel strong for your body, you can easily feel more strong. So I hope you do some exercise for releasing all the doubts from your body and build a more confidence. So those are 10 tips to turn into our doubt, into confidence. Comment down below what's your strategy to deal with doubt and which ways I talk about resonate with you. The outside is getting noisier because there is a construction outside. So I'm just gonna wrap it up this video. I hope you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram and hit the notification button to catch up my latest video. Have a beautiful, wonderful day and see you in my next video. Bye guys.